can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this functional equation, 3 times f of negative x plus f of 1 over x plus f of x equals x, wherein x is not equal to 0, then the goal is to find the value of f of x. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this functional equation, 3 times f of negative x plus f of 1 over x plus f of x equals x, wherein x is not equal to 0, then we want f of x. So to answer this kind of question, first thing we need to do is to replace all x with negative x. So using our original equation, let's replace all of this x with negative x. So this will give us 3 times f of x plus f of negative 1 over x plus f of negative x equals negative x. Alright. Now we introduce another function f of negative 1 over x. So what we're going to do is to replace all x again with negative 1 over x. So now, given this original functional equation, we need to replace all of this x with negative 1 over x. And if we do that, we get 3 times f of 1 over x plus f of negative x plus f of negative 1 over x equals negative 1 over x. Finally, let's replace all x with 1 over x. Again, using our original functional equation. So if we do that, we get 3 times f of negative 1 over x plus f of x plus f of 1 over x equals 1 over x. Now, focusing on this result, what we're going to do to make this simple is we need to replace f of x with a, f of negative x with b, and f of 1 over x with c. So our equation becomes 3b plus c plus a equals x. And also f of negative 1 over x, let's call this as d. So the second equation, we can turn this into variables a, b, and d. So we have 3a plus d plus b equals negative x. So the third equation is just 3c plus b plus d equals negative 1 over x. Finally, the fourth equation is 3d plus a plus c equals 1 over x. Now, let's focus on this result because take note, if we add those equations, those results, the left-hand side is just 0 because positive x and negative x is 0. Negative 1 over x plus 1 over x is also 0. So the right-hand side is 0. Now how about the left-hand side? So the left-hand side, we have here 5a plus 5b plus 5c plus 5d. Now, to get the value of a plus b plus c plus d, let's divide all of this by 5. So a plus b plus c plus d equals 0. Now, let's focus on this result and keep in mind that we want the value of a because a is our f of x. Now, let's use the second equation and the resulting equation because if we subtract this equation, we can eliminate the variable b and d. So if we do that, we get 2a minus c equals negative x. Now, another is let's use this equation and the resulting equation because again, if we subtract the second equation, we eliminate the variable b and d. So this will give us 2c minus a equals negative 1 over x. Now using these two equations, these two results, we can now eliminate the value of c and get the value of a because a is what we want to find. So let's multiply the first equation by 2. So this will give us 4a minus 2c equals negative 2x. And then let's add to the second result. So if we add this, we eliminate negative 2c and positive 2c. This is just 0. So 4a plus negative a, this will give us 3a equals negative 2x minus 1 over x. Now, 
the goal is to find the value of a. So let's simplify first the right-hand side of our equation. And if we do that, we get negative 2x squared minus 1 all over x. Since we want just the value of a, so divide both sides by 3, and you get the value of a as negative 2x squared minus 1 all over 3x, which is also our f of x. Therefore, given this functional equation, 3 times f of negative x plus f of 1 over x plus f of x equals x, wherein x is not equal to 0, then f of x is equivalent to negative 2x squared minus 1 all over 3 times x. And as always, we are done.